There are over 7 billion people on this planet. Not one is living the same story. Each person has their own goals, experiences, and struggles, whether you can see them or not. Everyone has or will experience their own mental health problems at some point in their life. The real problem is learning to understand and cope with them for yourself and for others. According to the Utah Health Department, Utah's suicide rate is the fifth highest in the nation. An average of almost 600 Utahns die by suicide each year. More than 4,500 Utahns reportedly attempt it. Genetics and heredity can have an effect on a person's mental health. According to HealthyChildren.org, chances of an individual having a specific disorder is higher if other family members have that same mental disorder. Even though a mental disorder may run in a family, there may be considerable differences in the severity of symptoms among family members. Trauma can have many negative effects, especially in early development, Things like abuse, violence, neglect, sexual harassment, and even witnessing these things can result in a variety of problems for the future. Research done by Harvard School of Public Health shows these events can trigger problems such as anxiety, depression, PTSD, and even physical health problems as well. Research has shown that mental health has gotten increasingly worse over the years, affecting younger generations especially. Some believe it is linked to the introduction of digital media like smartphones. Mm -hmm. Teens are saying that they're more anxious than they were just five to ten years ago. More feeling depressed, feeling lonely, uh, more fit the criteria for clinical level depression, more being admitted to the emergency room for self-harm, and more are committing suicide. What happened? They started spending more time online and they started spending less time with their friends in person. One study shows that the rate of individuals reporting symptoms of major depression increased from 8.7% in 2015 to 13.2% .2 in 2017. Rates of suicide or suicidal thoughts among young adults also rose from 7% in 2008 to 10.3% in 2017. There are many ways to help reduce this problem. For example, make sure you're aware of hotlines and help centers in case you or someone you know is having problems with depression. If you're unsure about your own mental health, seek out professionals like doctors and therapists who will know best how to treat you. Most importantly, keep an eye out for the people around you. Treat everyone with the same kindness and understanding you'd want to experience. You never know how much someone might be struggling. And even if they aren't, there's never any harm in showing your support. Always be kind to yourself as well as others. Saving humanity starts with saving mental health.